Oh, there we go. So, Rob, we're going to Bennett on the 26th of November, right? We certainly so, um, are, Gordon. So, so, let's do a little road trip and show everyone how to get there. Yeah, let's do this, because... Again. Sorry, <laughs> no, we're not starting again. Keep going. <laughs> right, we've got to go. go. All right. We've got to go. Right, let's uh, we'll edit the car. this. Right. We'll edit this bit out. It's fine. You're not driving. Around the other side. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, Associate yeah. Vicar drives. <laughs> you haven't reached third, that point yet. Third party chores. Right. We're good to go. We are good to go. You've got we your are. Seatbelt on. I, I do. I good, do. Very have important. You. Have you? I do. Otherwise, we could literally. Because you, as the driver, are responsible for my safety. There we go. So, yeah. it's, it's on. There we go. We're good. Okay. Right. We are off to Bennett Christchurch. And I'm holding a camera right here. Uh, we're gonna edit this to make sure that you know that, well, you know your way there basically, because it's local, you know, but we don't want people to go to the wrong place, do we, Gordon? We don't, and we wanna show you how close Bennett is to Christchurch and how easy it is to get there, apart from when you're stuck trying to, behind someone trying to parallel park. Yeah. Right. Anyway. I, I mean, I have major sympathy with them, actually. That is true. It that is, is hard. It's, a hard, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard, you know, let's, we'll give them a chance. Give them a chance. If we're still here in five minutes, we might edit this bit out. Yeah, yeah. What would you edit out of life? I edit out of my life. Just like waiting my for your embarrassing results. moments. <laughs> or something. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your most embarrassing moment, then? What would you edit out? I think the type, do, do you know what? I, it actually involves Tim. Genuinely, oh, so fact, mine does too. The kid, right? So embarrassing stuff about Tim. He's away today, so let's just do this. So what happened was um, we'd moved to Christchurch. It was about a week into sort of having the house, and the kids were going crazy in Sainsbury's. Like they were making such a disruption. It was really embarrassing. I was just laughing at this point. I was trying to get Phoebe to stop screaming at me, basically. And then, like, I was trying to pay and get out. I hadn't even gone to the till. I was doing the, you know, self-service, and like. Tim and Jan pop out of nowhere and Tim's like, hey Rob, how's the parenting going? And I'm just like, my new boss is seeing my family meltdown right in front of me. <laughs> right, what's your what's your embarrassing Tim story? My embarrassing Tim story. Um, so on my very first Sunday as curate at Christchurch, um, I mean, I, I've met Tim a few times, but not loads. And so I was sat next to him in the sanctuary waiting for the service to start and he came out of the music vestry and came to sit down next to me. And I noticed that his fly zip was undone. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do because I was like, I can't. I, I don't feel you like you've got to do him a solid. You, I feel like you got to do him a solid. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, but I, I didn't really know him that well, so I was like, can I say anything? But then I was like, <laughs> I can't. I can't not say anything. Yeah. And on my very first Sunday, I let the vicar go up and leave the service with his fries on. So. Bless him, I sort of, yeah, I leaned over and sort of started saying things like, you've got a Corvette out of place, you're flying low, you're oh. trying, to, trying to find And did he phrase. get any of this lingo? Did he, he did. Pick up on it? And yeah. he's, he said he was very thankful, but he's probably not quite so thankful I've just shared it with everyone. <laughs> anyway, right, right. Well, playlist. So I've made a playlist for this journey, and uh, many of you will know that I am uh, a heavy metal fan. Actually, some people think that's a bit incongruous. You know, you're a, you know, you're a deacon in the Church of England, so you know you are a pillar of the establishment. But I am also a massive metal fan. Gordon has revealed his ignorance of heavy metal to me today, and I, I feel nothing. like it's it's my brotherly duty to introduce him to the right way. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit anxious. <laughs> How loud is this going to be? <coughs> It goes on like this for a bit. Could you imagine like being in a crowd in a mosque to this? No. <laughs> Do you think you would enjoy it? <laughs> Alright, scream and shouting to cars in a bit. It just makes me feel very old. <laughs> it, was, it was quite loud. I'm going to show you something a bit more mainstream now. Come Any on. POD fans at Christchurch? Old school Christian new metal band? Anyone Chris, heard this before? Christian metal. Christian metal. These guys are all Christians. This song's a thinly veiled reference to all of their faith. About being alive in Jesus. It's a proper band. Like, listen. on the playlist, because it's only fair, yeah. some classical music that Gordon's going to introduce me to. So this is my opportunity to introduce you to something a bit more kind of cult 
Literally, it's going to be too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's like but, um, something a bit more, swipe. A, bit, a bit more, a bit more laid back. Okay, shall we say. fair enough. Fair so, um, so let's let's uh, let's pause this. Um, okay. So the what first one, here? the first one is a is a lovely piece uh, by the English composer Gerald Finzi. Oh. Uh, from a group of music called the Five Bagatelles. It's a clarinet piece, I used to play it at school. It's called The Romance, um, it's beautiful. Yeah, go for it. Okay, here we go. Oh, too there many we holes. <laughs> We're looking at UK County Council. Oh, wow. This is very moving. worship piece of music because I think we can probably both agree on on that kind of thing right you know you yeah, like metal totally. I might like classical we yeah. can disagree on totally. that but when it comes to you know the Lord and worship we so um mean, yeah. so go on then let's play our all right let's play our favorite this is our favorite worship song and you know who you are and we're just arriving at Bennett now from the new king help us pray Bennett on the 20th 